Hey everybody, this is Ian Westerman from EssentialTennis.com and today I'd like to show you all my favorite drill to work on your toss placement and consistency. The service toss is one of those things that seems like it should be really simple and seems like it should be a no-brainer to just be able to, you know, just toss the ball up there and have it be in the right spot for your serve but a lot of people really have a hard time with it, even high-level players. I've known players in my time that are much stronger players than I am that really struggle with their toss a lot. So it's not just beginners or, or recreational players. Anybody can have problems with their toss. And what I'm going to show you right now is a great way to work on that. So what I've got set up here, up on the baseline, is uh, just a hopper of tennis balls. You can use your racket as well. If you don't have a, a basket of balls like I do here, you can take a, a second racket and just place it right where I have this basket. And that is just in front of the baseline. I have the edge of the basket right on the front edge of the baseline. And I'm going to position myself next to the basket. Please keep in mind I'm, I'm left-handed. A little bit to the right of the basket. And obviously I'm going to stand just behind the, uh, the baseline so that I don't practice <laughs> foot faulting. If you're a right-handed player, you'll set yourself up the same way, but on the other side of the basket. So just a little bit to the left of the basket with your, your lead foot. I've got my, my foot just about at the, the left edge of the basket and opposite for, for left-handed, which I'm going to demonstrate because that's just what I'm used to. I'm sorry. So um, the keys here, and, and the, the biggest mistake that I see players make with their toss that leads to inconsistency and, and problems being able to reliably put the ball in the right spot is they use the wrong places on their body to hinge and actually get the ball up out of their hand. You don't want to use your hand and wrist and you don't want to use your elbow to propel the ball up towards wherever your intended target is. So what you want to use instead is your shoulder. It's really, really important for your consistency. So let's go ahead and move on up to the basket. Again, I'm going to position myself just to the right of it and just behind the baseline. And my goal here at first is going to be to just leave my racket where it is. I'm just going to focus on the toss part. And I'm going to put the ball up at the right height. And the right height is about 6, 8, 10 inches above your maximum reach where you would put your racket. So if I take a full reach, and notice by the way that my racket here is in line with the basket. That's why I've got the basket placed here because it's going to be a natural place for me to extend up and make contact with a, a good quality serve. So this is a full reach for me. I'm going to want my toss to go about 6, 8, 10 inches depending on your rhythm. It's going to change a little bit uh, if you have a little bit faster or slower service rhythm. Keep that in mind. But somewhere around there, it's gonna, you're going to want it to be at least a little higher than your top uh, reach, obviously. So I'm going to leave my racket down for now, use my shoulder, and extend my arm and shoulder up. Now, if the ball doesn't bounce off the racket face, or if it doesn't go in the basket, doesn't mean it's a failed toss. If you can get within about six inches of the basket, then you're doing a pretty good job. Um, anything that bounces off the, uh, the edges of the basket is a good toss. That was pretty accurate. And anything that lands inside the basket is you know pretty much perfect. That's is right in line with what we wanted. So I recommend that you spend some time just practicing this at first. And by the way, see where it lands. If the ball doesn't land within six inches of your, your target, then look for patterns. Very often players with inconsistent tosses tend to push or pull the ball in a certain spot over and over again. So look for patterns and see where you tend to put the ball if it's not where you want it to be. And this, this is a great way to give yourself immediate feedback on where you're missing your toss target. So um, once you've gone through this for a while, I recommend that you try to go for a certain number in a row or, or a certain total. So let's say that I come out to do, do the drill. Initially, I'd probably go until I make you know 10 in the basket. So I would, I would certainly go, I would just simply go for my, my total. And right now I've only, <laughs> I've only got one, so I would have a little ways to go. Uh, eventually go for maybe two or three in a row and really kind of hammer down on your consistency. And then eventually what you want to do, a little progression to this, is to actually go to your trophy pose and release the ball and let it bounce. So go back, go into your trophy pose, and let the ball fall and go for your, your target. So you'll actually bend, uh, go into your tilt with your shoulders, and turn your body back, you know, all the good elements of a, a trophy pose, and let the ball fall. 
there, see, I just, <laughs> I just had to do it like normal, right? Um, so th this is a great way for you to work on your accuracy and your consistency. Keep track of how many you're, you're able to put into the basket. Go for a certain number in a row. Keep track of where your misses are and just make small adjustments. Remember, don't use your wrist, don't you use your elbow to flip the ball in the air. It should be from the shoulder, smooth and relaxed, and just guide the ball up into the air. So I hope that you enjoyed this drill. I hope that it helps you. I hope that it, it helps your serve toss consistency. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them right below this video.